it's early March, and I'm here on my bee yard. Um, I think it's March 6th right now. And I remember an old saying that uh, an experienced beekeeper had, and that was that anyone can get their bees through to February. But if a bee colony is going to starve, it's going to starve in around March. So that's why I'm here. And my goal for today is to check and assess the weights of uh, my colonies here that you see right here uh, to see if they need feed. If they need feed, I can always open feed because starting tomorrow for the next couple days, we're having temps in and above the 10 degree mark and the nighttime uh, temperatures, nighttime lows aren't going to get down to about like two degrees. So we're not going to be in freezing uh, territory. So I think if they do need feed, now is the best time to get it to them. The reason why I'm not going in these colonies, I don't want to break cluster. I still think it's a little early. Mind you, this is my first time getting bees through winter, but I still think it's a bit early to break cluster. It's too, still too cold out uh, and I want to keep them tightly packed together. So um, come with me and I'll show you what we got. This is hive one. This is the very first hive I've purchased and installed and this is my very first time getting these guys through winter getting through all these guys through winter let's see how much she weighs I'm just gonna do a nice little tilt we're good on weight on that one colony two second beehive colony I've ever purchased now I forgot to mention these two hives have a deep and a medium super full of honey Let's assess the weight. Very heavy. Hive three. Tilt this one. Very light. I have my doubts about this hive here. Very, very light. Hive four. This is the very first split I made in my first year of beekeeping, which was last summer. Good amount of weight. This one here has a deep and a medium on top. This is hive five and six. Now they are attached, so I wonder if I could kind of lift up one each side. Uh, I can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off. Now let's check hive five and six. Okay. Light, light and all right. So I still think they could benefit from a bit of one-to-one uh, -one sugar syrup, which we're gonna put out. Well, let's get some feed on these bees.